Hey, Ron here from Military Images Magazine. Welcome to a new episode of Life on the Civil War Research Trail. I always read book prefaces because they almost always reveal the character, the nature of the author. Such is the case with this Confederate general. He is Alfred Jefferson Vaughn Jr. You can see by the crutch that he had a serious injury during the war. He posed for this portrait with the crutch that he used following the loss of his leg after an enemy artillery shell hit him while he was in the trenches during the Atlanta campaign in July of 1864. He is remembered as an aggressive, hard-fighting commander. He hailed from Virginia, graduated from Virginia Military Institute in 1851, and began his Confederate service as a captain in the 13th Tennessee Infantry, where he had wound up moving prior to the war. Steadily promoted for his courage and leadership in numerous battles in the Western theater, he rises to Brigadier General and Brigade Command following the death of his superior officer at Chickamauga. By the way, that promotion is given to him by Jefferson Davis. So here we are. Uh, he has this amazing career as a Confederate officer. And in 1897, long after the war, he writes his story in a book titled Personal Record of the 13th Regiment, Tennessee Infantry. I want to share this passage with you, which is from that preface, and he reflects on the war. So here it is. Quote, in writing, I have lived over again the days when the boom of cannon, the rattle of musketry, and the old rebel yell were familiar sounds to our ears. If a shade of mournfulness hovers over the failure of the cause for which these brave men fought and fell, it is not a mournfulness born of regrets. When we who wore the gray put away forever the musket and sword, and let me say, my comrades, swords and muskets that had been bravely borne, we did so in sorrow, but not in malice or hate. And today, I am sure, where one of the old regiment lingers yet a little while this side of the dark river, he accepts in good faith the terms of his parole and is a peaceful and faithful citizen of the United States. Not only faithful, but as loyal to the stars and stripes as we were once to that other flag which we followed for four long years and which was woven from an honest belief of a people's need. So there you have it, the reflections of General Vaughn as he relived his war years and his military service in the Confederate Army. Until we meet again, happy trails.